morning, Mr. Bonner. Good morning. Welcome to a slightly overcast day in beautiful Brussels, Belgium. And I'm, we are finding the best ways to get around Europe and I think America all over the world. We're about to take our little lamb scooters all around the city. <laughs> we found this the best way, most convenient, so simple, so cheap, and just plain old fun. They've been all over the France, uh, all over UK, and right now we found them in Belgium. We found them in Belgium and it's a simple way to kick around the city. So. So we just drop our scooters and it's very lovely here in Europe. They have a separate lane that you stay by yourself with a bicycle. You don't have to be on a cobblestone. Always bike, always scooter, always safe. And our first stop to go sightseeing. St. Michael's Cathedral. I love the glass inside, the size of those stained glass windows, and the, I want to call it the floating organ in the middle of the church. I don't know if they're at the back or the side corners of the, the cross of the church itself, but it was like floating in the middle. Very unique. Where are we heading to now? Well, let's go in Apple too. Oh, excellent. You can actually see the spire of City Hall behind the trees in the distance. Probably about a 10 minute walk. Let's meander. The Grand Place is a central square in Brussels, a must stop in the center of Old Town. It's surrounded by cafes, museums, and town hall. And if that's not enough, the architecture alone will leave you speechless. Yes. It wouldn't be Belgian if you weren't into what Belgium is famous for. Beer, but waffles and chocolate. And trust me, for the the yumminess that beer is, your sweet palate will overflow here. <laughs> it's insane. It's yummy. And it's like just two euros, a quick snack. We had some of them. Very tasty. Be careful where you go. A lot of places in Europe, cash only. The mannequin piss as a small bronze sculpture of a naked boy urinating into the fountain's basin. We happen to be so lucky to be there when his official dresser changed his outfit. We later found out that he has over a thousand custom-made outfits, but only gets dressed hungry 30 times a year. The little boy has an official calendar for wardrobe changes. No trip to Belgium would be complete without indulging in its world-famous beers and its flavors. The best place to experience this has to be Delirium Village. Although busy and touristy, this narrow alley and two floors of drinking space host over 2,000 beers, both local and from around the world. Just remember to fill your belly before you get there as they only serve small snacks.
Okay, here we are. Last day in Brussels, and what better way to finish off seeing downtown, the old city, but Palace, if I pronounce it right, Polar. Overlooking Old Town, all the churches in the distance. You can actually see the, the Adam statue in the background. And sitting here in front of the Palace of Justice, and we just found out that this, I believe, Avenue Louis, fun shopping street. We're going to venture down here and just to the east of the street. So let's venture along.